How do you explain the difference between VGD operation and VSD as it relates to part load? So to separate the two real quick, your VGD is a variable geometry diffuser that is in the diffuser section coming out of the compressor. So if we have our inside of the compressor here, we have our back wall of the rotor housing. We have the front. This is your impeller sitting inside of here. Okay, that's going to come across, come down this back wall. Right in here is your diffuser. We'll have a VGD in some of these increasingly more modern designs where there's this ring that will slide in and out on a based off of a, a, an actuator and it will change the dynamic of this diffuser gap. Now the whole point of this diffuser is to start to convert the kinetic energy that the impeller puts on the refrigerant and convert that over into a, a static pressure, a potential energy. Okay, so we're converting that kinetic into potential, which is what we read with our gauge pressure. So this is the whole aerodynamic aspect of a centrifugal. So this would be our VGD here. Okay, just so we're clear on what this is. Now, a, a VSD is just a drive. So a VSD is just a VFD, okay? AKA VFD. So York says VSD, variable speed drive, variable frequency drive. It's just York being York. So with that, obviously this is controlling speed of compressor uh, and literally adjusting our RPM. This is adjusting what our, how our diffusion gap functions. It's changing the characteristics on a fundamental level, how the refrigerant is going to flow through there. So in terms of, let's come back to the question. So how do we, how do you explain the difference between VGD and VSD operation in a part load condition? Part of what we can do with the VSD first, we're going to slowed the compressor down as much as we can. Now we still have a surge curve to worry about. So on that surge curve, we have our graph, we've got our surge line, we've got our choke line, we're somewhere in here. And then as we slow down the, the drive, we are pushing over because this would be our flow volume and this would be our lift value okay so this is how much lift we have across this impeller so this would be um, pressure one on lift pressure two the difference here is your uh, lift okay so we're reducing flow but by reducing this flow we end up pushing closer to that surge line especially if that process we're not reducing the lift on the machine which can happen we, we can have situations where because of our water temperatures and such, we're not actually reducing the lift in the process, but we are just strictly reducing flow. So in that event, we're just slowing down, okay? And by slowing down, this flow's turned down, and eventually we could push into kind of a surge condition. Where this VGD, part of what it does is it, the best way I could try to describe it on this graph would be it can adjust how much lift we can handle okay so just imagine that with this vgd by using it we're going to we're going to be able to handle a higher lift without going into a stall or a surge condition now the other thing to that is we do reduce flow so part of that vgd is it does cut down on how much flow is able to go through that diffusion gap because it does become a, a physical block and so our little gap here that we can flow through in the diffuser does become smaller like that is part of that process and that is why some of these chillers they do not have a inlet guide vane an igv they only have a vgd with a drive and part of that vgd's process is as that chiller is unloading we push these the vgd to a closed position which uh, narrows our diffuser gap, reducing how much flow goes through there. Once the, the VSD or the, the VFD has hit its minimum um, frequency that it's going to be able to run at at that time. So once it's as slow as it can go, we can use a VGD to also reduce load even further. So 
your um, what a YMC squared or a YZ. A YZ for sure works like that. Those do not have an IGV. Yes, and your YMC squareds are also this way. So those are magnetic bearing machines, but those are two examples of where we don't have variable guide vanes coming into the compressor. We just have a VGD and a VSD in order to modulate flow. In part load conditions, it just kind of depends on what they're going to do. Um, if I'm going to approach this from, say, a York perspective, then the VSD is going to be the primary, or let me take a step back, actually. From startup, your, your chiller will come online with your VSD in a minimum speed first. Okay, so it's going to be at minimum hertz, and your VGD should be in a full closed state. It's pushed all the way out. Once the chiller is ready to load up, this is just your sequence of operation. Once we're loading up, then the VGD will open. It will go as open as it can, and if that means it's able to go to completely open, then that's awesome. Then, once this is fully open, our VSD will begin to increase speed which increases our flow. This whole process is the staging up sequence. So we will stage up as far as we need to. That reverse process is true when we need to stage down. So this will stay open as much as it can, and we will slow the drive down to a minimum speed. Then once we hit that speed, which will be based off of this chart here, the next step will be to open or to start closing the VGD where this gets really convoluted if we are trying to unload but we're having lift issues and the chiller is, is pushing the surge boundary which a york machine like these will have a stall detector that is monitoring for when we're pushing into a surge condition this vgd will still function like it would on any other machine where it's not even trying to control uh, capacity it's trying to prevent the surge in the stall condition. So in the event that we're running at a part load, but we're not trying to fully unload, the VSD is still the primary load, load and unload mechanism, meaning speeding up or slowing down the compressor is still the main way we're controlling load. And the VGD at that point, its main job is to prevent the surge and stall condition by modulating this diffusion, diffusion gap. But once the compressor actually hits its minimum uh, reference speed that it can get to, then the compressor will intentionally use this VGD, not just for surge protection, but also for load and for unloading the compressor further by restricting this diffuser gap and allowing less total volume through. So it's, it serves a dual function at that point uh, with what it's doing.